Dear diary, today I wanted to talk to you about the failures and how I still manifested my dream life with many of them. For me, the failure was always a shame, something I did deserve as I'm not good enough, judgment of others, disappointment of friends and family, and yes, if you fail many people will be happy, it will make them feel better than you smarter, successful. Because the way we all exist in society is a reflection of our success and failures. But is it really that bad to fail? Or is it really that important to think of people who will feel happy if you fail? Well, dear diary, I have seen the other side of the moon. And let me tell you what I actually think about it. When I was 20 years old, I was thinking I can achieve anything I want. Since childhood, I was dreaming to live in a big city and travel a lot, as that was the main indicator of success for me. So I applied for a job that was offering the opportunity of traveling abroad and a very good salary. And with zero experience, I was believing in a miracle of this opportunity to come true. It was the time when manifestation and secret book was on the peak of popularity. And as any other 20 years old person, I was believing I can achieve anything with just the thought of it. I started to implement everything the manifestation books and documentaries were suggesting. Positive thinking, writing down on paper my dream income, imagining all the beautiful things I wanted to buy but couldn't afford at the time. And the most important, I was seeing myself working for the company I applied for. I started to think of it so obsessively that it occupied all my mind. Every five minutes I was checking my email for a job offer. Every hour I was thinking of my house somewhere in a dream city. And guess what? I failed. At the time, I was speaking with all my friends and family members that I'm gonna get the job and will work there for sure. And now I had to tell them that I failed. So to say it was hard for me is to say nothing. 20 years old girl was crying and thinking she lost the only opportunity she had to achieve all her dreams. Very little I knew by that time that I will achieve even more. After I got a rejection, I had nothing else to do but to work where I can to support myself financially. And I stopped manifesting my dreams as I got nothing but negative thoughts of the receiving what I asked for. But heart wants what it wants. I still had a dream of traveling across the world. Yet, I wasn't obsessed about it anymore. I was not talking about my plans with any of my friends and family anymore, as the only result I got from it was feeling negative and heartbroken. Somewhere deep inside, a 
still was dreaming. And then I thought that dreams cannot hurt if you are not manifesting obsessively and not getting that negative thoughts of failure. So with no expectations, I started to dream of living in London, my favorite city in the world. I was not even thinking of how and when. I, simply with my closed eyes, was imagining and feeling that I am already there, walking in London streets, seeing that beautiful magnolia blossoms in May and feeling the fresh, chilly breeze in the air. And it was making me happy, just to feel as if I am there, without any negative excess of manifestation, without overthinking of how, when and for how long. I was just feeling it. Every day, just for five minutes, I was just imagining how I walk in London. And soon, I started to feel much better. My energy raised incredibly, and I was really on high vibrations. However, the fear of failure was still with me. After just a couple of months, my friend told me that she found out there is a need in one particular position for the company where she works at. At first, I rejected it, as this company was even bigger than the one I applied for and failed. I said to her, there is no way I will get this position. The failure made me feel I was less. Yet, she convinced me to try my luck. I thought I will not lose anything anyway, and I applied. With no expectations, no manifestation, no email checks every five minutes, and I got the job. The position and salary were beyond my bravest expectations. I couldn't believe it. My brain was rejecting it. I even remember after the first day at work, I came home and told my mom that they will fire me soon as I don't deserve this job. That's how scared I was of my failures. Then I asked myself, so what if I fail? I will start again. This is something I have already been through and I survived. So I stopped fearing the failure. I became more experienced at my job as I was not afraid to try anymore. I worked in that company for six years. I have visited 18 countries and many beautiful cities in them. Yet, the first city I traveled to in my first year after I got the job was London. I was walking in London streets seeing magnolia blossoms and feeling the fresh, chilly breeze in the air, just like a dream. But this time, it was my reality. And after six years, I quit the job, because I moved to London. So dear diary, here are the things I remembered forever. First, manifestation can bring you an excess of negative thoughts if you do manifest in wrong way. It will make you feel tired of dreaming. The power of thought on its own will never work if you have a lower energy. Your feelings, your dreams and your positive energy are the only key to successful manifestation. Your soul already knows what it wants. But your brain can destroy it with rational thoughts when you manifest it. I had no money to travel, yet my soul always desired to travel and see the world. The day I stopped fearing of failure and thinking of how I will achieve my dreams was the best day of my life, because the universe had to synchronize with my positive energy and it gave me many opportunities to realize my dreams. Second. Overthinking of your goals and dreams will make you feel negative and tired because your brain will never find a solution to achieve your goals and dreams 
it will simply be occupied with negative thoughts of not receiving whatever you ask for and will miss many opportunities because of that. So take it easy, think of what you want, but never overthink of it. And last but not least, it is important to fail sometimes. Failures are necessary steps towards success. Failing can be hard, yet failures are the small steps that everyone takes towards success.
个世界。